And I feel cute as hell, bitch. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on another video of mine. Today, I am going to be doing a boxy charm. A BoxyCharm unboxing for this month, the month of July. So I'm just going to unbox this BoxyCharm box and just try out the products here and give y'all my impression on them. Um, first impression on the products. Actually, I just want to say thank you to my cousin Renee or Angel. She actually gets these boxes monthly, but she was like, she never really um, does makeup like me. Shout out to my cousin Renee. That's really sweet. Um, I really appreciate that. It comes with this little cart right here and it has the products on the back of it, how much they are and what a description of them, I guess. So in this box, it came with a, a mask, an eyeshadow palette, a brush set, some lip gloss, and some uh, makeup remover wipes. And the theme of this boxy charm is all natural, all natural. And honestly, I feel like it was meant to be for me to get this box first because everything in this box is um, like natural, earthy tones and. I just feel like it's me right now. <laughs> I just feel like it fits me right now at um, at this time in my life. Super cute, love it already, but we're gonna see how they perform. Here is the mask. I don't, I think you can see it. Here's the mask, it's a full size mask. So this mask is supposed to nourish, smooth, brighten for softer, smoother, radiant skin. And this mask is $35. $35. I'm honestly, um, I really don't wanna try this out right now because I'm kinda crunched for time. So I'm not gonna put this mask on because I would have to wait and leave it on my face for a good minute. And I, I don't really wanna do that. Plus, you can't really give first impressions on masks. You have to use them a couple times to even know if you like it or not. But I'm gonna squeeze some on the back of my hand to see what the color looks like. So it's like a, a mint green, kinda. <sighs> Smells like skincare. That little um, squirt that I just put out, got on my nose, put like that much on my hand which is like enough to cover my whole cheek. So um, I guess the product goes a long way. Whatever. Okay, next thing is the Natural Goddess Eyeshadow Palette from Butter London. This is what it looks like. <gasps> Super cute little flowers, little wooden aesthetic to it. a little thing in there you know how eyeshadow palettes work um and then this is what it looks like that's what it looks like there you go you can see it better like that i'm gonna name off the colors in here because they are so cute the first color is called enchantress queen star diva temptress and femme fatale if that's how you say that that little mint color right there so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them. I'm gonna swatch this one right here. So this one right here feels a little, um, that one feels a little chalky. Now I'm doing this one right here. Ooh, this one's so pretty. I might do green since I have this olive green shirt on. Ooh, that green is fucking to die for. Now I'm gonna do this color diva. Oh, and this patch, this palette is called Natural Goddess. 
And didn't I just say in my other video that we are all gods and goddesses? So it's just meant to be. Everything is just meant to be in my life right now. That color right there is goddess. No, that color is diva, I'm tripping. These four were shimmers. The last two in the palette, this one right here, these are matte. Temptress is a matte brown, kind of has like a burgundy tone to it. And then Femme Fatale is like a minty, kind of bluish green turquoise color. Here, that one. So yeah, that's the palette. This palette is $32. And you'll see me use this in the video. Me wiping that stuff off of my hand, that face mask, it feels really smooth and hydrating. So that will probably do good on the face. Three more things. These brushes are from Luxie. Three-piece brush set, eco-friendly. There is a foundation brush, a large eye blending brush, and a precision crease brush. These retail for $30. Four brushes for $30? Oh, they're so cute. And they're synthetic brushes. This is what they look like. So this is the foundation brush, this is the crease brush, and this is the precision brush, I think. Yeah. I'm probably not gonna use this one because I'm not gonna use foundation today. This one for my crease. Oh, this one, probably to cut my crease or pack a shimmer on it. So I'm excited to use those. Next is a uh, Luna by Luna lip gloss. And let's see. Uh, it says it's a pigmented lip gloss, high shine, long lasting cover, non sticky, applies, applies, <laughs> applies on smoothly and won't drip. What fucking lip gloss drips though? Let me find out. I want that. This is what it looks like. It's got a gold, um, like a gold, rose gold kind of tint to it. And this is called Venus. And let me see if it has... Mm. 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 It smells good. I don't know what it smells like. Maybe like, I don't know, but that shit smells good. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's like peachy, goldy, flicks in it. Cute, can't wait to use that. And then last is makeup wipes. And these are by Kojin Do. Contains natural herbal essences, uh, natural spa water, oil-free and mildly acidic. I don't know about that acidic part, but these wipes are $17, so they, they better do something. Got down me. 10 cloths. I use that if like I have eyeshadow that uh, falls down on my face that I wanna clean off. I'm gonna get to the makeup part now. Do a look with the eyeshadow, uh, the lip gloss, and so use the I brush. already did um, my eyebrows, primed my eye. So now I'm just gonna jump into the eyeshadow. I really don't know what color I wanna use. I really am gonna incorporate this color star right here since I have an olive green shirt on, but I really wanna use this right here. Maybe I'll use these colors. The, gold, the green, the gold, and this matte color here. This matte color on the outside right here. Pretty pigmented. Oh, it's really pigmented with this synthetic brush. And it blends out pretty good. But there's like no way that I could not have used this color. No way, like I gotta use this. Ooh, 
so pretty. Yeah, it blends out pretty good with this brush here. And it packs on good with this brush. So I'm just gonna speed this part up now because all I'm doing is just packing and blending. See how pretty that is? Love, 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 love. Love this motherfucking color, bitch. So now I'm gonna use this uh, packer brush, I guess. And I'm gonna dip in the color Star, which is this green color. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna pack on good. I mean, it packs on the brush pretty good, so. <sighs> mm, pretty pigmented on the lid, too. <sighs> I bet if I wet it, it would be even better. So yeah, it's kind of falling down on my cheek, which is fine. That's what I meant when I said I'm going to uh, use the wipes to clean that off. But I feel like I need to wet this to make it even more intense. You can see, you can really, you can still see it, but it's kind of crumbling on my eye and falling. Even it's even falling on my shirt, but. That's fine, as long as there's color payoff, which there is, see? That's fine. Okay, so I really recommend wetting the brush to apply these shimmers because it does fall out a little bit. Now I'm going to get these wipes and clean up this fallout and see how good the wipes are <clears throat> first let's me let me smell it hmm. it smells pretty good it smells like nothing really yeah it doesn't really smell like anything but kind of rough I don't really like rough thick makeup wipes and this is what that is but I mean it takes it off good yeah took it off really good yeah it took it off fine it's just kind of rough it's wet and juicy but it's rough that it's gonna micro tear, tear my damn skin over so time. I just finished the rest of my makeup off camera. Um, did some concealer, some bronzer, highlight, put orange eyeshadow in my inner corner just to tie in this little hair scarf that I have right here going on. I'm gonna do the lower lash line now. So I kind of forgot to put blush on. 
I'm not even sure if I want to put blush. Maybe just a little bit. Like a little peachy, peachy vibe or whatever. Just a little, 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 little touch of it, you I mean? That just adds a whole new dimension to the look and it's just cute. Now for the bottom, I don't know. I kind of just want to leave it bare like this, but I want to use as many eyeshadows as I can. I'm going to take the color Diva, which is this one right here. I got that shit all in my god dang eye. And then I'm gonna take this color Temptress. This matte brown. I just feel like a goddess with the way I look right now. Kind of added like a little bottom wing. So I put my mascara on. Now I'm going to show y'all what this pretty lip gloss looks like. It feels really like really moisturizing. I feel like if I put brown lip liner on, it would be a badass look, but I like it with just this. I like this color. Like peachy, bronzy. Definitely fuck with it. All right, so that is me trying on everything in this box. It's the look I came up with. My final thoughts about this um, all natural box is I pretty much like everything in here. Um, wipes are cool, brushes are cool, eyeshadow, love it. Um, lip gloss, cute. I really like this month's box. You guys should subscribe to BoxyCharm. This is not even sponsored or I'm not getting paid. Not getting any coins from boxy charm to say this but yeah i really like it as you can tell i mean like why would you not want to buy it look at my face right now but that wraps up this video thank you guys for watching stay tuned for the next video and remember to be nice don't judge and be optimistic peace out niggas